Come on, come on, come on. game where knowing the answer isn't the only thing you need to win. In this game, the longer you can wait before you buzz in on a question, the more points you'll get. And the more points you get, the less likely you are to end up in our goo portal. Horrible. Of course, a game show wouldn't be a game show without questions, and luckily we've got a computer chock-a-block full of them. He's our total intelligence mechanism, or as I like to call him, Tim. All right, Tim, how are you doing? I'm Tim. Totally intelligent mechanism. Tim has a brain absolutely loaded with facts. My brother's a computer for NASA, you know. Oh. It's times like this I wish I was him. My brother's a computer from NASA. Me, 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 me. Anyway, let's find out who's playing today. <laughs> Today's team are from Bangor in Northern Ireland. And our first player is Joanna. Hiya, Joanna. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm really excited about being here. Are you? What yeah. are you most excited about? Well, I really want to go into the goo portal. You want to go <laughs> in the goo portal? I want to see what it feels like. That's very brave of you, Joanna. I I'm told, Joanna, that you're a bit musical. Um, I play the piano. Oh, you play the piano. What's your uh, favourite tune? I like The Winner Takes It All by ABBA, because I can play it OK. <laughs> oh, The Winner Takes It All. Quite apt, I think, for Wait For It. Who Definitely. do you think is your, uh, your biggest uh, competition on the team? <laughs> Probably Luke, because he's clever. Oh, he's clever. OK, I'll have to keep our eye on Luke. Thanks very much. Nice to meet you, Joanna. OK. Second contestant is Luke. So, hi, Luke. She says you're clever, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Top of the class, huh? Sort of. <laughs> I hear that you're quite a patient person. Yes. Yeah, well, you know the show's called Wait For It. Yeah. So that could come in handy. Yes. What do you think about maybe walking out on the drop zone there towards the good portal? Um, well, I'm a bit nervous. Yeah? Yeah. Well, nice to meet you, Luke. Best of luck. Thank you. All right. Our third contestant is Ruth. Hi, Ruth. Hi. How are you feeling today? Extremely excited. Really? Yeah. What are you most excited about? Uh, the goo portal. What about the, the star prizes? I still want to go in the guns. Ruth, I hear that you play an instrument as well. Wow, that is a hairdo. <laughs> I love it. I, I usually have the most impressive hairdo on Wait For It, but this is one to rival me. How long do you spend on that? Um, about five minutes. It's only going to take five seconds to ruin it <laughs> if you drop in the coop part, so... Who are you most worried about in terms of competition? Mm, on your definitely team Luke. Luke? Everyone's saying Luke. Is Luke super smart? Yeah, he's the smartest one in our class, probably. Really? Yeah. All right, well, I'll have to, I'll have to wait and see. Let's go into round number one. This one's called Wait For It. Every question's got a series of clues lasting 15 seconds long. The question starts at the same time the clock begins, counting from zero to 15 seconds. You can buzz in at any time, but you only get the points equivalent to the number of seconds that have passed if you get it right. So, for example, you buzz in at seven seconds, you get the question right, you bag yourself seven points. If you get it wrong, then your opponents will get seven points. There are ten questions in this round, and you each have three lives, so make sure you use them wisely. Remember, listen carefully to the clues, and when you think you know the answer, wait for it. All right, here we go. Round one. Let's hear the first question, please, Tim. I am a shape. 
you need a very steady hand or a compass to draw me. I have only one side and no corners. I have a radius, a diameter, and a circumference. You can see examples of me everywhere. Oh, who was in there? That was Joanna. Joanna, stop the clock at 12 seconds. What's the answer? Circle. Circle is correct. Well played. <laughs> Let's go into question number two, please, Tim. I'm delicious and crunchy to eat. You might even have a packet of me in your packed lunch. In the USA, I'm known as chips. I'm made by frying very thin slices of vegetables, usually potato. Ooh, Ben. The crisps. Crisps is the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> I think you all knew that quite early on. I was watching you watching one another. You were seeing who was going to buzz in first, and Ben just got in there first. That was great. OK, question number three is coming up now. Let's hear it, Tim. I am someone who makes and sells things. You eat what I make. According to a nursery rhyme, I can be found in a tub with a butcher and a candlestick maker. Sherlock Holmes lived on a street named after me. I bake bread and cakes and pastries. Ooh, wow, a time. A little bit of a tough one there. Just a little bit too slow there, Ruth. Did you know the answer? Yeah, I think. What, what did you think it was? A baker. Baker was correct, but unfortunately, you didn't get in in time. So no points for anyone on that one. All right, let's go into question number four, please. You need a lot of air to blow me up, but when you do, you can use me to decorate a room for a party or twist me to make objects or animals. If you stick a pig... Ooh, Ruth. Balloon. Balloon is the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> Got the timing right that time. Bad yourself. Ten points. Good stuff. OK, this is the fifth question. Let's hear it, Tim, please. I'm an animal. There are lots of different types of me. I have six legs and many of my kind have wings and can fly. Some people call me creepy crawlies or bugs, and when they see me, they sometimes... Ooh, Ruth again. Insect. Insect is the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> and a bit of a roll now. Another ten points for you there, Ruth. OK, this is question six. Let's hear it, Tim. I'm a singer and TV personality. I used to be a member of the girl band Mystique. In 2007, I won Strictly Come Dancing. After that, my solo career took off, and I had a hit with The Boy Does Nothing. In March 2009, I climbed Mount... Ooh, Ben! Alicia Dixon. Alicia Dixon is the correct answer. Well done. Wow. That was some serious words in there, Ben. It's absolutely brilliant. OK. Question seven, please. I am the largest city in Wales and home to the Welsh Assembly. I'm situated on the River Taff. My Millennium Stadium plays host to international rugby and football matches. Doctor Who is... Oh, Luke. What's the answer? Cardiff. Cardiff is correct. Well played. <laughs> 11 points for Luke there. Back in the game. Good stuff. OK, this is question number eight. I begin with the letter F. I'm found on people, and my appearance is often triggered by sunlight. I'm more often found on people with red or fair colour hair. I'm entirely harmless... Ooh, Joanna in first. Freckles. Freckles is the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> Got some freckles yourself there, Joanna. Yeah. Excellent, that's how she knew. OK, 11 points for you, absolutely brilliant. So, let's wait for it, OK? Question nine. I'm modelled on a kind of animal. I'm an old-fashioned plaything usually found in a children's room or nursery. My earliest examples date from the 19th century. I have a mane and a tail which are often made from... Ruth. Rocking horse. Rocking horse is the correct answer. <laughs> Brilliant. 11 points there, Ruth, and that's your last life gone. So this last question is just for the three of you guys. Ruth is frozen out. So listen closely. Here it comes. This is question 10. I'm something you eat. Often I'm not a meal in myself, but a starter before other food. I'm normally eaten hot, but sometimes cold. I may be made with vegetables or meat, or a mixture of both. You eat me with a spoon, and you may find some... Ooh, Ben in first there. What's the answer? Cauliflower cheese. Ooh, it's not Rabbit. cauliflower cheese, I'm afraid. <laughs> the answer we were looking for was soup. It was soup. <laughs> you came in at 12 seconds, which means everyone else gets 12 points. So... That is the end of round number one. Who's done enough to survive? Who waited the longest? Who got the most points? There's only one way to find out. Guys, if you could leave your play pods and please enter the drop zone.
Tim's been keeping track of the scores and can reveal that the first person through to round number two is... Ruth! Well played, Ruth! She looks really relieved. Well played, good stuff. OK. The second person through and safe is... Joanna! Another really happy face there. OK, so the ladies are safe. It's the boys left. The person leaving the game and entering the goo portal is... Luke! Sorry, Luke. Wait for bye to him, everyone. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Give us a thumbs up, Luke! <laughs> ben, that was a close call. Mm. <laughs> How did it feel out there on the end? I was a bit worried, cos between me and Luke, I thought I had a went in, cos Luke's a smarter one, but... But he was the favourite. Everyone was talking about Luke and he's out in the first round. So clearly, you waited the longest. So, ready to play the next part? Yep. OK. Well, this is round number two. It's called Watch and Wait. Now, it's different from round number one, but we've got the same scoring system. Wherever you stop the clock, that's the number of points you'll get if you get it right. I'm going to give you a category and you have to decide how many seconds worth of clue you think you'll need. If you stop the clock at eight seconds, get the question right, you get yourself eight points. If you get it wrong, we continue to play the clues and give your opponents the chance to grab those points. So, once again, three lives, and it's important to wait as long as possible if you want to get maximum points. OK, let's wait for it. The first category is fictional characters. Start the clock, Tim. Keeping our eye on each other. Also, the clock is very important. <coughs> Ooh, Ruth, buzzed in at nine seconds there. You're going to hear nine seconds worth of the clue. So here it comes. I'm a group of comic book superheroes. Professor Xavier trained us as young mutants to use our powers for the good of all people. Our arch enemy. OK, that's nine seconds worth of clue. What's the answer, Ruth? X-Men. X-Men is absolutely correct. Well played. <laughs> All right, the second category is food. It's food, OK? So start the clock. Everyone's really watching one another. Good. Oh, Ben in first. Stop the clock at eight seconds. OK, Ben, let's hope it's enough. Let's hear eight seconds of clues. Mm. I'm something loved by a famous cartoon character. I'm a sweet food. I'm made from deep-fried batter or... Ooh, not a lot of clue there. Eight seconds worth. Is it enough, Ben? Do you know the answer? Is it a deep fried Mars bar? It sounds delicious, but unfortunately it's wrong. That's the wrong answer. I'm sorry. So we're going to continue to play the clues and give these guys a chance to swipe those points. So when you know the answer, buzz in or wait for it. Let's play the clues, Tim. Dough. I can be ring-shaped or I can be a flattened ball filled with jet. Ooh, Joanna in first. Onion rings? Onion rings is the wrong answer. That's the wrong answer. The answer we were looking for was donuts. The third category is the body. Let's start the clock. Keeping an eye on one another. One in front for maximum. Oh, Joanna, you saw Ruth go for it then, didn't you? Yeah. All right, you stop the clock at eight seconds. Let's hear the clues. I'm an important group of body parts in most animals, birds, insects, reptiles and humans. You'll also find me on pieces of furniture and at the bottom of many stack. Eight seconds worth of clue there, Joanna. Is it enough? Um, Do you know the answer? Legs. Legs is the wrong answer, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry. We're going to continue to play the clue, see if these guys can swipe points. Let's hear them, Tim. Choose. I'm also an old method of measuring length. I rhyme with the word sheet. I usually come in pairs. Without me, you wouldn't have anyone. Ooh, Ruth in first. What's Feet. the answer? 
feet. Absolutely correct. <laughs> well done. Look how you stopped the clock there, Ruth. 15 seconds. That's 15 points. Absolutely fantastic. Question number four is on general knowledge. Let's start the clock, Tim. Tenser now. <coughs> Ooh, Ben in first at 10 seconds. Let's hear those clues, Tim. I'm a word which has several meanings. I'm commonly used to describe a place where people keep their money. You will usually find cash machines set into my walls outside. Ben looks quietly confident over there. What's the answer? Bank. It's correct. Well done. Well played, Ben. Ten seconds, you get ten points. Absolutely fantastic. OK, this is question number five, and the category is history. Start the clock. I'm just going to stop it first. <coughs> Ooh, last life there, and you buzzed in at nine seconds, Ben. Let's hear the clues. I am a type of event, but not an enjoyable one. There have been lots of me throughout history. I happen at land, sea, or even in the sky. I take the... Not much there. Is it enough? Ben, what's your answer? Is it battle? Or battle? Battle? It's correct! Well done! <laughs> Use that last life very wisely, Ben. Good work, good work. OK, you're frozen out, cos you've used up all three lives. There's only one more question, so this one really counts, OK? The category is toys. Start the clock, Tim, please. I'm just going to hold out the longest. <coughs> Ooh, Ruth, stop the clock at eight seconds. Let's hear those clues. I'm a type of toy that's popular around the world, particularly with girls. Sometimes I look like a real baby and I might even cry a wee. Other times I'm a small version of a... Doll. Doll. That's the right answer. Well played, Ruth. <laughs> Doll, well played, OK? Got yourself eight points. That's all six questions over. Who do you think waited the longest? Who's got the most points? There's only one way to find out. If you could leave your Playpods contestants and enter the drop zone. Tim's been keeping the scores. The first person safe and definitely through to the next round is... Ruth! Well played! She looks very pleased. The person about to leave the drop zone and enter the goo portal is... It's Joanna! I think she knows! Yeah. Everyone wait for bye! See you later, Joanna! Oh! 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 oh. Ruin those pigtails! <laughs> Another close one out there, Ben. Yeah. Do you think you were going to be in that time? Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, we're going into our head-to-head -head round. This one's called Wait and See. I'm going to give you a question category, and you have to decide when you think they'll buzz in. Now, you've got three time slot options. One to five seconds, six to ten seconds, and 11 to 15 seconds. Of course, the person answering will have no idea what your prediction is. The points don't match the clock this time. It's the best of five. So if your prediction's correct and they answer correctly within the time slot you guessed, then you get the point. If they answer correctly outside of the time slot, then they get the point. So, you both know the rules. You've seen the possible time slots. It's now time to wait and see who can make the right prediction. All right, Ruth, you waited the longest and the first two rounds, so you get to decide whether you want to predict first or answer first. What would you rather do? Predict. Well, the first category is books. Ben, are you a big reader? Yeah. 
You do? Yeah. What are your uh, your favourite kind of books? Um, books by Roald Dahl. All right. Make your prediction, please. Brilliant. Ben, here come your clues. Buzz in when you know the answer or wait for it. I'm a book written by Roald Dahl. The main characters are an ugly, horrible, smelly couple who hate each other. They're not very clever and are always trying to play tricks on each other. They keep pet... <coughs> Ooh, in it 11 seconds. What's the answer, please, Ben? The twits. The twits is correct. Let's see the prediction. Ooh, Ruth predicted correctly, which means she gets the point. Well played, Ruth. <laughs> Let's go for the second question. This time, the category is objects. And, Ben, you're predicting this time. So, objects. Just wait a moment. Objects. I suppose this could be anything, Ruth. I'm really worried now. I have no idea what this thing's going to be about, and I don't really know that much about that, those things. OK, well, that's what she's saying, but... You could be bluffing. You ready to make your prediction? Yep. OK, press one of the buttons, please. OK, all right. That's Ben's prediction. Let's see when Ruth buzzes in. OK, play the clues, please, Tim. I'm an item of furniture found in most houses. I come in a variety of sizes, including double and king. Or... Ooh, in at seven seconds. What's the answer, Ruth? Bed. Bed is correct. Let's see the prediction. Oh, Ben predicted you'd come in between six and ten seconds, which means he gets a point. Well played, Ben. That's one apiece. Question three is on sport. So, Ben, sporty guy? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? What's yeah. your favourite sport? Football. OK, any other sports or just football? I like tennis as well. Let's see what you're going to predict, Ruth, please. OK, let's play the clues, Tim. I'm a sport that involves very big men chasing a ball. A popular legend says that I was invented in 1823, when during a game of football, a schoolboy picked up the ball and ran with it. I'm played with an odd-shaped ball, and there is... Ooh, in at 13 seconds. What's the answer, Ben? Basketball. Basketball's the wrong answer. Let's see the prediction, though. Oh, Ruth, you predicted Ben would come in between uh, 6 and 10 seconds. He came in at 13 with an incorrect answer, which means nobody gets the point. We're still neck and neck. Let's go to question number four, and the category is nature. Something you're into, Ruth? Yeah, I go through so many walks with my family and I know all about nature. Do you think she's telling the truth? Yeah. You do? OK, well, make your prediction. OK. Let's hear the clues, please, Tim. I'm a type of bird. Many people consider me to be a pest, and attempts have been made to wipe me out. Although you never see bait... Oh, Ruth, in Pigeon. seven seconds. Sorry? Pigeon. Pigeon. That's the correct answer. Let's see the prediction. Oh! 11 to 15 seconds, which means Ruth bags a point. Well played. <laughs> Ooh. One more question in this round. You need to get this one right to stay in the game, Ben. The category is the big wide world. So, Ben, the big wide world? Nothing. Sound like something you'd know a lot about? No. No? No. Not at all? Are you ready to make a prediction? Yeah. OK, there she goes. Right. That's the prediction. We can all see that. Ben, remember, this one to stay in the running. Let's hear the clues, Tim. I'm a type of forest. The largest is in the Amazon basin in South America. People are destroying me by cutting down my trees. I'm home to all kinds of creatures and plants. I'm a major source of oxygen. My name comes from a type of weather plus another word for a wood. Ooh, out of time there. Did you know the answer then? Yeah. What was it? Rainforest. Rainforest, that was absolutely correct. The scores remain at two to one, which means after five questions, Ruth is the surviving contestant and is going to go through to our final game. So, if Ruth is our winner, that must mean that, Ben, unfortunately, you're our loser. Ben, the haircut has been safe throughout the game so far. Unfortunately, it's time for you to leave your play pod and enter the drop zone. Do you want to wave bye-bye to him, Ruth? Bye, Ben. Bye, bye Ben. Bye. We'll see you soon. Bye. Good luck, buddy. Sure. Give us a big smile, Ben. Big thumbs up. Yeah, nice one. <laughs> OK, Ruth, come down. Let's play our final game. Wait a minute. Brilliant.
brilliant. How are you? Really pleased. You've been excellent so far. You've played so well. This is your final challenge, Ruth, okay? okay. You're going to hear a series of questions. Now, each of them lasts 10 seconds. You've got 60 seconds to give me six correct answers and make your way across the goo portal. This is how it's done. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, the time begins when I hear the answer to the first question. Best of luck. I'm rooting for you. All right? You ready to play? Yes. OK, let's go. I begin with D, and I'm usually eaten after the main course. I often contain lots of calories. Types of me include puddings and tarts. I can be made of fruit, pastry, chocolate or sponge. Dessert. That's right, move forward. I'm an item of traditional clothing. I'm usually worn with knee-high socks and a pouch called a sporran. I'm a pleated garment which looks like a skirt made from tartan fabric. I'm traditionally worn by Scottish men. Kilt. Correct, move forward. I'm a part of your body. If you're a rude person, you might use me when pushing in. I'm also used to describe some angles and bends. You'll find me halfway up your arm. Humorous? No, that's wrong. I'm a legendary character. My enemy is an evil sheriff. I have a group of merry men who help me, including Little John and Much. We live in Sherwood Forest. Jonas Armstrong played me on TV. Robin Hood. Correct, move forward. I'm made in gardens and parks when the weather is very cold. When it gets warm, I disappear, leaving a puddle behind. You might use carrots and stones to give me a nose and eyes. Snowman? That's right, move forward. I'm over 20 miles long and nearly a mile wide and full of water. One end of me is near Inverness in Scotland. I'm so deep that people believe I'm home to a legend. Oh, that's the klaxon. We know what that means. Help me out, audience. Three, two, one. one of our intergalactic space bouncers. So well played, Ruth. Wasn't Ruth fantastic? What a shame. It was a great game, though. Join us next time on Wait For It! On the spot, I was dying to get gunge. The gunge is absolutely freezing and it got off my nose and it went white. I enjoy playing Wait For It so much. It was really, really fun. Up again. What do you think you're doing? You're going to be in so much trouble when Mike sees this. Come on, let's hide. Maybe we could paint it into something less hairy. Just cover it with this. Well, don't just stand there. Ah, guys, anyone fancy pizza? I'm okay. I thought I could trust you guys. You are dead me. Tracy Beaker Returns, the brand new series, starts today, 5.15, on the CBBC channel. Hello, I am Dr Ian. And I am Dr Hacker. Yes, and welcome to Eden Hacker's Lab Lab. Today <laughs> in the Lab Lab, we're investigating the effects of sport yes. upon your face. Your face! Yes. <laughs> look, there's me doing some running there. Yeah. And I was have quite the effect upon my face. I look a little bit like I'm having a bad time. Oh, Ian. So, let's see what one you fellow doctors at home have been getting involved in counter experiment. We've got one here from Dr. Lewis. Yep. Look at Dr. Lewis there, playing a bit of karate. Oh, look at his chest, Ian. So, Dr. Hacker, what do you think of this one? I this think guy's got a sort of face going tongue. Doing a deuce. A deuce? Yeah. Oh, controversial. They're quite low down for Lewis. Yeah. I would have given you more, Lewis, but that's the results. What I am a talented. We've got one here from Dr. Saul here. Look at Dr. Saul there. Uh, doing a bit of fencing, I think. Oh, yeah, what do you think? Uh, I think, well, he's quite aggressive looking. I like it, I like it. I think he's going to be hat trick. Hat trick? Yeah. Get him involved. There you go, he's getting involved in the hat trick area. And finally, Dr. Andrew <laughs> sent in this picture of him doing a little experiment. I Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's someone's dad, I think. Hey, uh, that's whoa. a tiny tennis racket. No, 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 it's a normal tennis racket. He's just a massive oh. man. Hey, uh, what, 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 well, don't make it so hasty. What do you think? Got, um, he's got the face going here. Now, same detergent. Red card. Red card? Get him down there. Oh, Andrew, that must stick. Get him down uh, there. There we go. Lower. And right in the... Yeah. You can't see if it's lower. He's made an effort. <laughs> 
So if you want to get involved in Eden Hacker's Lab Lab, grab some sporting equipment that's lying about in your house. It can be anything, or even just do a handstand, hey, yeah. whatever it is. What? Apparatus. Apparatus. 